is how to set up the level, how to take readings, okay? That's, that's really what we need to be able to do today. And normally you have some kind of tripod, okay? So we've got a bit of a tripod here, you can see at the top, we've got some releases, so I'm gonna release those, be careful, uh, they don't fly through your feet. So we can do that, we can do those, drop them down. Okay, obviously outside, still toe caps are a good idea. Okay, so I've now extended the legs. Now, you tend to extend the legs quite a bit. I'm gonna take this to probably one of the highest places that you're gonna work. Don't put it on the lowest place, because otherwise, if you put things on the lowest point, Okay, so if this is my lowest point here, and I set up my level here, obviously when I get to there, I've got a problem. I can't take the readings. And what I have is a leveling staff to take the readings. Now, at least if I set the level up here, okay, if I set the level up there, and we've got a line there, we can use the leveling stand, we can extend it and we can get the points. So we've got our, we've, set, we've got our tripod, but obviously that will get pushed in the ground so it ain't going to move because this is likely to move and put it out of level which isn't a good thing. Uh, but we've got it as it is at the moment. What you do is you kind of get it as level as you can. You could put a spirit level on there if you want to. Some of them actually have a level Built on the sides, it's always a good thing to start off as level as you can, it saves a lot of adjusting later. So this is the, just a typical tripod, move that from there into that, so that just will screw into that and it will tighten down on your tripod. So we've now set the level on top of the tripod and then what you've got is a series of things that you need to get level. Now, if you want to come and have a look at this, uh, Sam, if you, yeah. in here there is a circular bubble and you can see it looking up into a mirror here. You've got to get the circular bubble in the middle, okay? Now, the bubble always goes to the highest point, yeah? Highest point, yeah, good. So at the moment it's over here, the bubble's over here. So I've actually got to drop this end down and by coming here I can see that to do that I've got to twist it that way which will drop it and while it's doing that I'm going to turn the other one the other opposite way which will put that one up and that one down so I'm going to do that until the bubble moves across I don't know whether you can see that Sam on that one yeah but the bubble now is moving across and it's about halfway the trouble is it's now this end so I've now got to get that end down and so I'm going to try and move it like that, but remember the bubble always goes to the highest point. So I've now got the circular bubble in the middle. So whatever surveying equipment you have, you've got to get it level, otherwise it's no good. Because when, if say for example, here's my instrument here, and I've got my, this is the leveling device here, if it's level, then brilliant. I can take readings and if the floor is sort of like this, it's going to give me the same reference point. However, if I haven't got that quite set up properly, it's going to tilt that slightly and then that reading is going to be less than what it actually is. And that reading is going to be more than what it should be. Yeah. So it's very important we get that level. So you've got to get that right first. So that's the first thing. So we've got the tripod, we've got it level. Then the next thing, we've got a couple of adjustments. What we've got now is to, when you look through it, you'll basically see on, on, on it, you'll see a, a kind of a circle. So you've got a cross there, and sometimes they have another little line uh, above it, one there and one there. Okay, and what you've got to do is you've got to get this crosshair, you've got to get them so you can see them clearly, and you've also got to get the picture behind. So if I've got uh, you know, some kind of tree in the distance or whatever I've got, if I've got a tree, I've got to make sure that my tree is nice and clear. 
or whatever I'm taking. Now, what in my case, I've got a leveling staff, and I've got to make sure that my leveling staff is clear to take the readings. So in order to get the picture clear, what we have is a focus on the side. So we just focus that until the picture is clear. So I'm actually looking over towards Darren at the moment, and I've got to get the picture clear. Yeah, and I can see some writing on the wall, actually, just above Darren, so just slightly above him. And that picture is clear. The picture's clear, but I can't see the lines. So you get your picture clear first, and now I've got to get the lines. So that is done on this part. So you twist this to get the lines clear. And I've also got my stadia lines now. So I've got the window really clear. And I've got my stadia lines. So I've got the window. I can see all the rain on it. And I've got my stadia lines. Okay. And that's exactly what I'm seeing at the moment. Okay. So I'm just looking at the back there. So I've got my crosshairs. As Sam says. And what I could do now is I could use a leveling staff and I could take a reading. All right. So I'm nearly ready. Once that instrument is set up, I'm now ready to take a series of readings. If I want to move it slightly left to right, I can twist these. That just moves them left or the other way. Okay, I've always got to make sure that that's in the middle, but I should be okay now to take all my readings. And this is where it gets a little bit more interesting because what we've got on the staff you have to be careful when you're doing this, be careful when you're operating it and you extend. Some people will do that and they will click it out. Just going 1.1 to 1.2 when really it hasn't got to the top of there, so you're missing five centimeters. So make sure it's clicked, make sure we're not going to break any lights. And you can see that the way that the leveling staff is designed, it goes up in 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9. So it's going up, that, that is 10 centimeters, obviously from 80 to 90 to 100, so it ha the E represents 5 centimetres, so that would be 0.95 at the top of the E, if I was there. So I got 0 0.91, 0 0.92, 0 0.93, 0 0.94, 0 0.95, 0 0.96, 0 0.97, 0 0.98, 0 0.99, 1. And what I'm going to do is, uh, just to test you on this, because it's quite, this is another thing that we have, I'm going to use a laser and I'm going to shine a laser, hopefully, uh, onto, uh, onto the tripod. The laser, again, we do exactly the same. We're going to switch it on. Okay, you can see it's, it's sort of sp uh, spinning around a little bit. I hope that's not in anybody's eyes there. And this one's got little marks. You can see how the red's gone to that side, and it's saying you've got to turn it this way. There's like a little arrow. I've got to turn that one that way, and I've got to turn that one that way. And when it go, when they change colour, this also is put on a tripod, incidentally. See now that we've got them, it's level now, they're on the amber, they're on, on that setting. I want you to tell me what reading you think the staff is at. 1.01. 1. 1. Hmm. Can you see that the, the, the bottom of the red, it's got 1.0? So you've got 1.01. Can, can everybody see that? Right. Yeah? 1.01. 1. Let's do another one. We've got there then, right down that one. 2.0. But you would be correct in saying 1.1567891. 1. 1, okay, it's complicated. Now, in terms of horticulture, because we're on a grassy area on top of a molehill or whatever, you're not going to, you know, you're probably going to round it up. 